Hello and welcome into another edition of Card Sharks. I'd like to thank Mr. Doug Morrison for today's opening poem. And remember, if you'd like to leave an opening poem for the show, leave it in the comment section below. Now, on with today's game. Aces are the Rockets. Deuces are the Ducks. They're the cards to draw to win the big bucks on Card Sharks. This is the game where a single turn of the cards can win you up to $32,000 in cash. Now, here's your host, the star of Card Sharks, Brandon Scrum. Hello, welcome to another edition of the Card Sharks right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have y'all with us once again. Uh, we're back here with more fun and games. We're trying to see if one of these contestants can take home that $32,000 in cash. Our current champion, Kevin, is unable to be with us at this point in time. So we drew two names from our competitors in our studio audience to come up on stage. And they're going to be playing in our game till. One of them will be crowned our interim champion until Kevin can return to defend his crown. So let's meet our players for t this first game of Card Sharks. All right, playing the playing in the champion's position or playing the red cards in this first game, we've got AJ. AJ, welcome back. Hi, Brandon. Good to see you again. Uh, as you saw, AJ was on our last episode. He came in as the champion previously. Uh, but since he set out the one game required in order to... Uh, Give other folks a chance to play. He is eligible to play, and he was lucky to be drawn by the randomizer. So you're ready to go back at it, AJ? Sure am. All right, well, good luck to you. And playing against you in the challenger position, playing the blue cards this time around, we've got Mr. Brandon Martin. Brandon, how are we doing? I'm doing pretty good, Brandon. Oh, good. To hear. Yeah, it's, it's always still weird to me, and this is just, I guess, personal thing, when I'm always talking to another Brandon because I'm like, it's not me, but at the same time, I'm totally cool with it. <laughs> it's just sort of that, it's that weird yeah. mentality for me. But anyway, enough about that. Are you ready to play, sir? Yep, I'm ready to go. All right, well, good luck to both of you. You guys know how the game works. Your objective is to call your way across your row of cards, calling if the next card is going to be higher or lower than pre the previous one. Remember, if, if you get all the way across the board, you win the game, get you $250. takes two games to win the match, however, and the winner goes on to our money cards for a shot at up to $32,000 in cash. All right? So good luck to good luck to you guys here. And to, on today, we have a new set of, like, Traditional style of Card Sharks questions we're going to be playing on this episode. We're going to try them out for a few episodes here. See how you guys like them. But we'll switch back and forth between these and the Would You Rather scenarios as well for everybody involved. All right. So good luck to you guys. And let's let's get right into a place of Card Sharks. Starting with um, our first question going to our, our first player, which is AJ. AJ, we asked 100 people, have you ever broke your own TV? How many of a hundred people said yes? They have broken their own TV. Well, I actually wanted to try break my own TV when um when I, I don't my team home team doesn't win. So um, I think it's going to be a high number and say about sixty three. Sixty three out of a hundred have tried to break their own TV. Braden, higher or lower than sixty three? Um, well, for me, I would say if, the, if people would like to break their own TV for this one, and then some would do that, and some won't, but I'm going to have to say a little bit lower. Maybe a little bit lower than that. All right, if the answer is lower, Brandon will be playing his cards first. If it's not, AJ will be playing his cards first. The actual number of people who would have tried to break their own TV is... 24, it is way lower. All right, Brandon. All right. All right so, Brandon, that means you're going to control your cards first. Let's take a look at your base card for this opening game. It's a king. All right. Good card. Let's go. Go on. Lower than the king. Yes, it's a six. Risk it higher. Going on. Higher than the six. Yes, it's a seven. 
freeze right there. Got a freeze right there. Okay, taking a two, three card lead over AJ. Needing just two more cards to win this first game of the match. We go to question number two. This one's for Brandon. Now, Brandon, this is actually a percentage question on this one. So we asked more than 100 people. And we've taken a total of the percentages of those people and on this question here. Uh, we asked we asked a group of people, do you get up at night and eat? How many? What percentage of those people said they don't get up during the middle of the night and have something to eat? Well, if I would say if I had to get up something to eat, though, and then I I would do that, but I think. Some people would do that, but my percentage, I would have to say, is 3%. So how much? Uh, 30. All right, 30% of people like to get up in the middle of the night and eat something. AJ, higher or lower than 30%? Uh, how many people will not eat something? Yes. Um... I will say it's a tiny bit higher. I'll say a little higher than that. Right, the actual percentage of people who do not get up at night and eat something is 59. It is higher. All right, AJ, that means you've got control of the cards of this one. I will take a look at your base card. It is going to be an ace. We are going lower. All right, lower than that ace. It's a four. We're going higher. Going on again, higher than the four of the time. Another ace. Lower this time. Come on, lower than the ace. It's a king. Ooh. We're going lower this time. For game <laughs> one of the match, plus a five hundred dollar bonus, lower than the king. It's a jack. He's done it. Nicely done, AJ. $250 for winning the game, plus a $500 bonus for sweeping the board in one go there. You've got yourself $750 and the early advantage in this matchup here. So now we're going to clear off the cards and we're going to deal out the next cards for the next round. Of course, remember the cards that have been played. It will help you significantly as we play through the game. So now we go on to round number two. This first question goes to our challenger, Brandon, on this one. Brandon, we asked 100 people this time. Do you have sensitive teeth? How many of 100 people said yes, they do have sensitive teeth? I pin, I actually do have sensitive teeth. For this one, I would have to say a high number. I'll say 62. 62 out of 100 said yes, they have sensitive teeth. AJ, higher or lower than 62? Well, I'm going to go lower than this one. I'm going to say lower than that. All right, the actual number of people who say they do have sensitive teeth is 51. It is lower. Almost about an even split there on that one. All right, AJ, you've got control of the cards once again. We're starting with your base card this time of a jack. going to do something I've never done before and change that card. Okay, you won the question. You have the right to change it. We're going to change that jack. That jack now becomes a six. Let's, well, I haven't seen many lower cards, so let's go lower. Going against the odds on this one. Lower than the six. No, it's an eight right up the middle, so you lose that card there, giving Brandon a chance to play his cards and his base card this time around. An ace. All right, good card. Let's go lower. Come on, lower than the ace. It's a five. Higher. Come on, higher than that five. A ten. Let's freeze it right there. Freeze it right there. Needing just two cards to catch up in this game here. As we go to question number two, this one's for AJ. AJ, we asked 100 kids on this one. Have you ever seen the movie Ice Age? How many of 100 kids said, yes, they have seen the movie Ice Age? Well, Ice Age, I have watched the movie myself. It's a pretty good movie. Um, how many kids watched Ice Age? Uh, I would say 
54. 54 out of 100 said they have seen Ice Age. Brandon, higher or lower than 54? Well, for me, though, I've watched <laughs> Ice Age for my, throughout my childhood. And for this one, I'll go a little bit higher than that. I'll say even higher than that. All right, the actual number of people who have seen the movie Ice, uh, other kids who have seen the movie Ice Age is 82. It is way higher on that one. All right. All right, Brandon, you are in control of the board, sir. You've got that 10. Let's change that card. All right, changing that 10. That 10 now becomes a 3. All right, another good card. Let's go higher. Well, uh, higher than the 3. It's an eight, right up the middle. Well, <clears throat> I mean, let's go ahead and freeze it right there again. All right, freezing again, needing just one more card to tie up the match here with AJ. Go on to question number three. This one goes back to Brandon. Brandon, we asked we asked one hundred kids on this one. Do you own the? Do you own a hoverboard toy? How many of a hundred people said, yes, they do own a hoverboard? Well, I know a lot of kids do own a hoverboard at that time. And then even teenagers at that as well. Okay. This one's going to be a little bit high number again. I'll say 55. 55 out of 100 said, yes, they do own a hoverboard. AJ, higher or lower than 55? We're going higher with this one. We're going even higher than that. All right, the actual number of people who do own a hoverboard here is 20 is not higher. It's way lower on that one. All right. All right, Brandon, you got control of the cards. Once again, you've got that eight. Let's change that card. All right, changing that eight, important change here. That eight now becomes a five. All right. Higher. Uh, to type the match, higher than a five. Yes, it's a seven. He's done it. There we go. Brandon wins that second game there. Picks up $250 for himself. Both players now with one game apiece, needing one more to win the get match. Who's going to take it on? We're going to take a commercial break. We'll come back and find out who's going to the money card. We'll do that right after this commercial timeout. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Cards. Cards here. Both players in this game have won one game apiece. Now this is the tiebreaker round. Three cards on the board for each player. Three questions. Determine who will be going on to play the money cards here. And this first question is going to AJ. AJ, we asked 100 people, do you eat with your mouth open? How many of 100 people said yes, they do eat with their mouth open? I eat with my mouth open and it disgusts my parents um i will say 70 70 out of 100 said yes they eat with their mouth open brandon higher or lower than 70 well for me in my opinion i actually i don't i don't eat with my mouth open a lot but for this one i have to go a little bit lower than that I'll say even lower than that all right actual number of people who do eat with their mouth open is 20. It is way lower on this one. Okay. All right. I guess it's, consi it's considered uh, bad manners to chew or your food and stuff with your mouth wide open there. But okay. Brandon, you've got control of the cards in this tiebreaker round, so we're going to start you off with your base card this time of an 8. Let's change that I'm card. changing that 8. That 8 now becomes... A queen. All right, good card. Let's go lower. Going on lower than the queen. It's a six. Sure. For the uh, game and the match to become the new interim champion here at Card Sharks, higher than a six. It's a queen. He's done a new champion. Congratulations to your brother. You're the new interim champion here. You got yourself five hundred dollars of cash. You're going on to play the money cards here in just a moment. Well, AJ, we thank you for playing, sir. You're not leaving here empty-handed. 
you take it with you, 750 bucks in cash for your play this time here on Card Sharks, and we will have you again for another game, all right? All right. Very Brandon. good. All right, Brandon, are you ready to go see how you do with these money cards? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's head on to the bonus land. Let's play the money cards. <laughs> Oh, no, so like wrong game show. Yeah, I know. I host a lot of them, but I at least I can understand the difference between most of them. At least most of the time. <laughs> he said so fast, I was like, what is it? Yeah, all right, Brandon. Welcome over here to the money cards here, sir. Here's your chance to earn yourself a lot of cash here. You know how this works. We start you off at the bottom row. We'll give you $200 of brand new betting money. Work your way across that bottom row to get to the second run where you give you an additional $400 cash. Work your way across those three cards as well. Again, minimum bets of $50 and then $50 increments all the way up to you can get the big bet card at the top of the board where you must bet at least half your money. If you do a perfect double, double, double all the way to the top of the board, you can get yourself $32,000 in cash. And as a reminder, as always, you can change one card on each level, one of the three additional cards we deal out on the side of the game for you. So, all right, if you're ready, good luck to you. Let's deal out those cards. Give me that first $200 of betting money. All right, your base card for this round on the money cards is going to be an ace. Oh, boy. All righty. All of it lower. Bet in the farm here. Can't lose on an ace. Lower than an ace for $200. Oh, no, it's another ace. Ironic. All right, like I said, no win, no loss. Put uh, Pushes, meaning nothing happens here. So you still got $200, and you still got a great card. Let's try that again. All of it lower. Hit win the 32000 but we can get to 16000 which would be a nice hit. $200, lower than the ace. It's a four. There you go, $400 and a four now. Mm -hmm. And let's go $300 higher. All right, $300 on this one, higher than the four. Yes, it's a six. $700 now on that six. We move that six up to the second row. We'll give you the additional $400 in betting money. You now have $1,100 and a six. All right. Let's go flippers higher. How much was the wager again? $400. Okay, $400. Higher than the six. It's a 10. All right, $1,500 now and a 10. Uh, let's go ahead and change that card with number one. All right, change it with card number one. That 10 now becomes a seven. Uh, a little better, not bad. Let's go $500. Five hundred dollars higher. higher, higher. Okay. Big bet on the mid-range card. Five hundred dollars higher than the seven. Yes, it's the king. Two thousand dollars now, and the king. Good card. All right. Well, you know, no glory. All of it lower. Betting the farm here, $2,000. We do not want to see an ace here. Lower than the king. It's a five. Four, yeah. $4,000. You've got that five. We move it up to the big bet line. It is big bet time, sir. You must bet at least 2000 on this one. What was my card again, a, Brandon? You have a five. A five, okay. Let's... So half of it higher. All right, minimum bet here, two thousand dollars. Guaranteed to leave with at least two thousand, but you could finish with six thousand dollars. Two thousand higher than a five. It's an eight right at the middle. He's a winner. Six thousand dollars for Brandon. Add that to your previous winnings. You're now up to six thousand five hundred dollars in cash. And we're going to take a quick commercial timeout. When we come back, Brandon's going to have himself a new opponent, and we'll find out who it is right after this. Stay tuned. More car trucks on the way. And we're back here.
here on Card Charts here with our new interim champion, Brandon. He's got himself $6,500, and he's ready to take on his next opponent. So let's meet him now, playing against Brandon in this second game of Card Sharks. We've got Eric. Eric, welcome in. Hello, Brandon. Hello. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had him on the show. He's been a bit of a hiatus here, but he's been here in the audience watching along, but now he's back on stage here. Gets his chance to play. Are you ready? I am so ready for this. I bet, imagine you are. So good luck to you both. Let's get started with the second game of Card Sharks on this episode with a question to our champion, Brandon. Brandon, we asked 100 people, do you have posters hanging in your rooms right now? How many of 100 people said, yes, they do have posters hanging in their rooms right now? Uh, well, for me, in my opinion, though, wrestling posters in my room, though, like I said, but if they have posters like right now, I would say almost half of it. I would just have to say same. So forty-five out of a hundred said yes. They have posters hanging in their room right now. Eric, higher long than forty-five. I do have a poster in my room. It's featuring the Red Slots World Series Championship and a small one oh, bottom with Super Mario 3. So uh, it depends on what uh, what the people like and everything else. I know posters were a hu um, huge thing to post in your room back in the 80s and back in my decade, so it's going to be... But nowadays, it might be a tad lower than that. Let's try it a little lower. All right. Oh. Now I would think I would think people may have some posters hanging up around their house, perhaps, but not maybe not necessarily in their particular bedroom. I know I've got a Tar Heels poster in my bedroom because I have a Tar Heels fan. Let's go UNC, hoping for a big win this season, uh, college basketball wise. But we'll see what happens here. The actual number of people who have uh, posters hanging up in their rooms right now is nineteen. That is very surprisingly low. More like the times nowadays. Yeah, I guess five change the time perhaps. All right, Eric, you've got control of the cards. So take a look at your base card for this game of card sharks. We start you with a 10. That, that card sucks. Change I'm it. changing that 10. That 10 now becomes a 9. That sucks worse. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm get all the odds here. Go all right, lower. playing the odds. Lower than the 9. Oh no, it's a king! Didn't want to see that card lose that chance there. Brandon, a free shot to play off your base card this time. Of a seven. Alright, let's go higher. Higher than the seven. It's a jack. Lower. Lower than the jack. No, an ace. You lose both those cards there. <laughs> Oh, oh, rats. Oh, well. All right, go on to question number two here. This question goes to um, Eric. Eric, we asked 100 people, Are you? do you consider yourself a good singer? How many of 100 people said, yes, they do consider themselves a good singer? Now, as much as, much as I love music, but I am a drummer. I play without a lesson on that. I don't... I don't I, I'm not a good singer myself. I don't expect to be on The Voice or American Idol or any one of these shows anytime soon. I think I want Simon Cowell. <laughs> 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 so, uh, let's see. How many people admit they were a good singer? Yes. There could be a low number on this one. I'm going to have to say 35 on this one. All right, 35 out of 100 consider themselves a good singer. Brandon, higher or lower than 35? Well, as for me, I was... Listen to music. I was singing all those good songs from back 2000 from now. I mean, for me, I consider myself a good singer for the rest of them. I would say, I have to say a little bit higher than that. It's not even higher than that. We'll see. The actual number of people who consider themselves a good singer is 56. It is higher. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, so a little bit more than half. I would probably be on that side of the equation as well. But, Brandon, you've got control of the cards. You've got yourself a seven. What would you like to do? Uh, let's go ahead and change that card. All right, changing that seven now becomes a three. All right, higher. Higher than the three. Oh, no, another three. 
Uh, yeah, tough break there. Eric, you got a free shot to play off the nine. That would be lower than the nine. Lower than the nine. nine. Play the odds. Oh, no, Jack. Face cards <laughs> abound for you on the bottom side there, it seems like, Eric. All right, we got a question number three for this round. This one goes to our, our interim champion, Brandon. Brandon, we asked 100 people, would you, if you had the opportunity, would you fly, would you take a rocket ship to the moon? How many of 100 people said yes, they would take a rocket and like to visit the moon? Well, for me, in my opinion, I would like to visit to the moon and all that and take a rocket ship there. But for this one... Yeah, I would have to say a high number on this one. 60. 60 out of 100 said they'd like to go visit the moon and rocket ship. Eric, higher lower than 60. Uh, you know, taking a rocket ship to the moon requires a lot of work and a lot of training to do so. Uh, with you know, space camps and all. And uh, the foils would want to go. I mean, you don't just go grab, um, get a rocket ship all willy nilly and go on the moon. <laughs> I wouldn't have to say that a little bit lower than that. You'll say just a little bit lower than that. A little bit lower. Reminds me of the old uh, Sesame Street uh, song uh, when Ernie was looking at the moon one day. Song he'd like to visit the moon. I know he would. But we'll see how many of these hundred people want to. The actual number of people that would like to go visit the moon in a rocket ship is 53. It is just a little lower. All right. All right, Eric, you've got control of the board. You've got that nine. Get rid of that nine. Change it. Please. All right, that nine be gone with you. And that nine now becomes a seven. Same thing, but other that. side. Get a little bit of the nine. Let's go higher than the seven. All right, at Let's least the ahead. odds are in your favor this time. Higher than the seven. Give him a face card this time. Oh, are you serious? Oh, Oh. <laughs> Something in my head told me that was going to happen, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, Eric. Lose that card there. Brandon, a free shot to play with your three. Higher. Higher than the three. It's a four. Higher. Going on higher than the four. Oh, no, another four. Oh, my goodness. Wow, we haven't had this scenario in a minute here. We're on our fourth and final question. Both players still on their initial base card. So control very important on this question here, players, as this one goes to Eric. Eric, we asked 100 people, do you talk to yourself when no one else is around? How many 100 people said yes, they do talk to themselves when no one else is around? Guilty as charged on this, on this one right here. I talked to myself a little bit crazy. I second the motion. Because I usually I heard the motion. Because I usually practice for my YouTube show as well. I will give you, and plus, sometimes I get make mental notes in my head. Sometimes it helps. I'm uh, busy sometimes but when it comes to crazy talk. So I would say that number is a middle of a road number because I don't know a lot of people. I would say 65 on this one. 65, 65. Okay, just let me know. Six five, he says. All right, Brandon, higher or lower than 6.5? Well, for me, in my opinion, though, I always talk to myself like what I need to get myself mentally prepared and all that for a YouTube video and all that. This one, I think I would agree with you, Eric, though. I mean, this one, I'm going to have to say a tad bit higher. Saying you're just a tad bit higher on this one. All important control to people. Actual number of people who said they like to talk to themselves, a.k.a. the Ed Sheeran, thinking out loud, is... 73. It is just a little higher. <laughs> All right, Brandon, here's a scenario, sir. You both need four cards in order to win this first game of the matchup here. You have currently have a three. Eric has a seven. So the important, the option is yours, sir. Do you want to try to play your cards, or do you want to pass it to Eric? I'm going to pass it to Eric. All right, Eric, it comes to you. You have got must play from the seven. Uh, if you can call all four cards correctly, you win the first game of the match, a $500 bonus, and take the lead. However, one mistake, and Brandon takes game number one. All right, I got to go for it. Higher. 
Alright, please be right. Please give him a fair shot on this one. Cards. Higher than a seven. No, it's a three! You're ready against game one. Those are some rotten cards, sir. That's all I can say there. Well, I know. Well, Brady, you take game number one. That's $250 in your bank there. Puts you up to $6,750. You need one more game in order to um, tie up this matchup here. And with that, folks, we're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break. Give Eric a check, set, chance to calm down. And we can check these cards and make sure they are... <laughs> Purposely shuffled badly for his sake. And we'll be back to see who wins this game of car sharks right after this. Back here at Card Sharks here. That was a rough first game for Eric there. But Brandon picked up the win. He's got himself $6,750 now. Eric trying to tie up the match here. So we'll see how he does in game number two here. We've dealt the next cards off the top of the deck. And we did check your cards during the intermission. They are they are not stacked. They had been shuffled. They're just some rotten cards on the top part of the deck where you cut it. We'll, we'll see what happens there. As we go to game game two with our first question, which goes to you on this one, Eric. Eric, we asked 100 people on this one. Okay. Do you hate questions that have bad grammar? How many of 100 people said, yes, they do hate questions that have bad grammar in them? I'm sure majority of us do. We, and a lot of the time, um, and nowadays, we have the um, on the internet, definitely people who have bad grammar. And uh, someone's case about this. So it's going to be a pretty high number. I'm going to try E5. How much? 35? 70. 75. Seven. All right, 7.5, okay. 75 out of 100. Brandon, higher or lower than 75? Uh, well, I have to go lower on this one. And play the odds going lower there. All right, the actual number of people who do hate getting questions that have bad grammar in them is... 75 right on yes. the nose! Yes! Wow. There you go. Oh, Nicely yeah, done, yeah. Eric. Oh my gosh, I love that. Right on the right on the money there, sir. Anytime a player gets a question, right on the nose here on card charts, they earn themselves a five hundred dollar bonus. So that's yours to keep no matter what happens, Eric. So you got five hundred bucks in your bank, so you're not walking away empty handed. But now hopefully you got some good cards for you this summer all. So let's go to the board. Take a look at your base card for this start of this game, a six. I would change that card. All right, changing that six. That six now becomes a ten. Same I'm thing. Going for... the odds lower. All right, lower than a ten. An ace. I'm sorry, it's not lower. <laughs> Brandon, free shot to play off your cards. You also have a ten. Well, gotta go lower on this one. All right, going on lower than ten. No, it's a jack. Oh, what of the... <laughs> Whoever shuffled these cards, uh, we're going to have to have a talk with them. <laughs> this is unreal. Alright, on to, on to question number two. This one goes to Brandon. Brandon, we asked 100 people, have you ever been on a boat? How many other people said, yes, they've been on a boat? Well, for me, in my opinion, I haven't had it on a but I know some people been on a boat, but I would go up right, like, almost to the middle. I would have to say about 40. 40 out of 100 said they have been on a boat. Eric, higher or lower than 40? I've been, I've been on a boat uh, many times. Motorboats. Uh, I've been on the Scamanchi for Montes Vineyard back here in Massachusetts, and so... I'm sure a lot of people have been on the boat, so let's go a little bit higher than that. And go higher than that. All right. Actual number of people who have never been on a boat is 72. It is higher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sadly one of those people who have never been on a boat. And quite frankly, I don't think I want to. That's just me. Why? Well, I, I, I never Potentially, I think either. I'd be afraid to be seasick, but that's me. Anyway, Eric, you've yeah. got control. You've got 10. 
That card sucks. Change it. Screwed me. Changing the 10 once again. We want to... How about a really tiny card this time? That 10 now becomes... An ace! Glorious! Lower. Lower than the ace. It's an 8 right up the middle. Ew. Freeze. Finally gets off the starting block and voids that card. He's got three more cards to get tied up the match here. We go to question number three. This one this one goes to Eric. Eric, we asked 100 people, have you ever pulled out your own tooth? How many of 100 people Whoa. said yes, they have pulled out their own tooth? Ooh, that is, that is a tough one. When I was a kid, I think that happened to me once. I pulled up. Actually, I think it was dangling loose, and then I, uh, I got it out. But pull out my own shoot? That would be a low number unless you want to try the Three Stooges method. <laughs> I have and, tried uh, that. I would say 20, 25, I believe. 25 people. All right. One out of every four. Had, one out of every four has pulled out their own tooth. Brandon, higher or lower than 25? Well, for me, as the kid, I'm, as myself, though, Got my own tooth at that time. And for this one, I know some adults like don't pull their tooth. But for this one, I'm gonna have to go a little bit of a tad higher. I'll say just a tad higher than that. All right, the actual number of people who have pulled out their own tooth is 65. It is higher. All right. All right, Brandon, you've got control. You've got that 10. Change that card. All right, that 10 now becomes a 7. All right, not bad. Let's go higher. Oh, higher than the 7. No, it's another 7. You lose that card there. Eric, a free shot to play off the 8. All right, I'm going to try higher this one. All right, going higher than the 8. It's a jack. Please. What was that? Lower. Went on lower than the jack. Lower. It's a four. Higher. For higher. Game two. Tie up the match. Higher than a four. It's a king. He's done it. Yeah. All right. Eric managed to tie up the match here. One game of peace. That's another two fifty in his bank there, giving him seven hundred fifty dollars now. So let's deal out those cards for our third and final matchup here again, players. Three cards to deal, three questions on this one. Somebody's going to the money cards. And we start the key, this round off with a question to our champion, Brandon. Brandon, we asked 100 people, are you born in the month of January? How many of 100 people who randomly asked said they had birthdays in the month of January? Well, for me, in my opinion, I wasn't even born on January. I was actually born in November. And actually, my birthday is tomorrow. Oh, so. happy birthday. Oh, happy early birthday, happy sir. Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you, guys. Both of this one, up the mid like around the middle, I would have to say 48. 48 out of 100 people we asked said they had a birthday in the month of January. Eric, how are lower than 48? Mine's in January. Hmm. Interesting question. A little lower than that. I, I myself would have been born in the month of January, but I came about two days too late for that to happen. <laughs> So let's see. We the actual number of people we randomly asked on the street and I asked with them, there was your birthday the month of January. The actual number of people is fourteen. It is way lower on this one. Ah, lower. Wow, fourteen people. That's not bad. Fourteen out of hundred had a birthday in January, so that's about right. It's about one out of every twelve. So that's an yeah. accurate representation, I feel. All right, Eric, you're in control the board here. You've got. To try to win this to become the new interim champion, your base card this time around, a deuce. Glorious. Glorious. Higher. Thank you, Bobby Roode. Higher than two. <laughs> it's an eight right up the middle. Oh, 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 oh! I'm gonna have to go higher again. I'm gonna try. Risking to it all to become the new interim champion. Higher than an eight. 
No, it's a four! You lose both those cards there. Opening the door for Brandon to have a shot. He plays off of the eight. Let's go higher. Right up the middle, playing the higher than the eight. No, it's a four! Nobody advances on this round. Both players needing two cards to win. Go to question two. This one goes to Eric. Eric, we asked 100 people and said, asked them, do you believe in aliens? How many of 100 people said, yes, we do believe in aliens? Oh, that's an interesting question to say the least. Oh, do we have, do we, is there any intelligent life anywhere on the planet? That could be, and that's an interesting <laughs> That's a whole other scenario altogether, but we'll save that for another time. Uh, I don't know about intelligent life here on Earth. We got no, never mind that. <laughs> right. Um, do we believe in aliens? That's a good question. Who's, who? Would, how many people would say that? I'm gonna go right up in the middle. Fifty-five. Fifty-five out of a hundred said yeah, they do believe in aliens. Brandon, higher or lower than fifty-five? Well, I think some people would believe they have we have aliens in the planet, and some don't. I would say lower than that. You're going to say lower than that. All right. The actual number of people that say they do believe in aliens is 32. It is lower. Yes. All right, Brandon, you get control of the cards. You've got that eight. Let's change that card. Important change here. That eight now becomes a seven. Alright, not bad. Let's go higher. Going on higher than a seven. No, it's a six. You lose that one there. Eric, a free shot to play off the two. I don't have to worry about changing it. Higher. Higher than the two. It's a five. Let's go higher than the five, please. We become the new interim champion. Higher than a five. It's a jack. We got a new champion. <laughs> All right, congratulations to you, Eric. You're the new interim champion here. You've got yourself $1,000. You're going on to play the money cards here in just a minute. But we got to say goodbye to Brandon here, who played a very good game here. But you're not leaving us here empty-handed on the card truck, sir. You take with you a total of $6,750 with our congratulations, sir. All right, with that said, folks, we're going to take another one last commercial break. When we come back, Eric's going to take a shot at the money cards, see if he can win so $32,000, and we'll do that game right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Card Sharks here with our new champion, Eric. He's got himself a thousand dollars and he is now gonna take a shot here at the money cards. Eric, you're quite familiar with this game because you feature it a lot on your channel as well. Wanna tell the folks a little bit about your YouTube channel real quick while you have a second? Oh, it's uh it's TPL, formerly known as the People's Team. I talk about my life and uh everything uh, that things that inspire me and whatnot and also i have some games on there too like tic-tac-toe bullseye the joke as well card shark money yeah there we go but yeah you can see you can check you can check it out just search for mr eric lima and you find him and you give him a subscribe good people's good put good person and now he's ready to take a shot and see if he can be the first one to crack the thirty-two thousand dollar vault here on the money cards you know how this works sir we start you off to two hundred dollars work your way up to the second row where you give you that additional four hundred bucks work your way across that row again minimum bets fifty dollars and then fifty dollar increments till you get to the big bet car where you must bet at least half your money all right so all right. you're ready sir good luck to you you got your 200 in front of you let's start your base card off this game let's see your base card is going to be a three not that bad. Let's go 150 bucks of that higher. All right. Taking it off. $150 higher than a three. It is a seven. You've got 350 okay. and a seven. Brandon, we're going to use card number one for that. All right, changing that seven. That seven now becomes a three. Let's go. Uh, uh, okay, 350 dollars. Let's go higher. Okay, for how much? $300. All right, $300. Higher than the three. An ace! Glorious. That's a beautiful card. $650 and an ace. 
We're going to shoot the max with this one. Whole thing lower than the ace. He ace. said, shoot the moon lower than the ace. It's an eight right up the middle. $1,300 now. We move that eight up to the second row. We give the additional $400 in betting money. You have $1,700, sir, and an eight. That card just made the list. Change it. All right, with which one? Okay, uh, number three. All right, changing with card number three. That eight now becomes an ace. Glorious oh, card. Do I have to? Yes, I'm going to. All of it lower. Shooting the moon once again. 1700 lower than the ace. A queen. $3,400. Not that bad, a lovely lady, the queen. Let's go $3,000 of that. Wow. Big bet on this one. $3,000 lower than the queen. Oh, now it's a king. Oh, ow. That's Oh, that's a kick. That's a kick in the gut right there. All right. You're not out of it yet, sir. You still got $400 in front of you, and you got a king now. Okay, I gotta be careful. I have two aces up there. They cannot be a number third ace. I'm gonna have to go all of that $400 lower. Risking it all here. $400 lower than the king. It's a seven. All right, you have $800. We move that seven up to the big bet line. It is big bet time, so you must bet at least four hundred dollars on that seven. I gotta change that seven with number two. All right, change with the last card we have. A very important change here. That seven now becomes a ten. Okay. Must bet at least four hundred here. Go half that, and we're gonna go lower because we got a lot of high cards. All right, I'm going to walk away with at least four hundred dollars here, but we want to say at least a four-digit number here for twelve hundred dollars. Lower than the 10. It's a 6. He's got it. There we go. Yeah, that can't come and cost you some money there, but you still finished pretty nicely. $1,200. If you add that to your upfront things, you now have a one-game cash total of $2,200, and you are our new interim champion, and you'll be back on our next episode to continue defending your interim champion. Hopefully, we'll have our champion Kevin back, and we'll have ourselves another champion match here on Card Sharks. All right. All right, well, congratulations to you, and congratulations to all of our players today. And thank you guys at home for watching another fun-filled episode of Card Sharks here. Remember, if you like the series, please click that like button down below, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, where I'm pushing toward 200 subscribers still, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss all the fun games right here on Card Sharks or any of the game shows right here at MVG Productions. And until the cards are dealt your way once again, and we've got more higher and low cut action, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Card Sharks. Take care. Bye for now, folks.